can't believe they would have blocked something like that that would have taken care of these facilities throughout this year. The longest government shutdown in U.S. history continues into its 26th day, and its ripple effect is being felt all across Oklahoma. A disagreement along party lines now putting Native American health care in the crossfire. Democrats have blocked an amendment to an act that would have funded Indian health services for a full fiscal year. Two Works For You anchor Corey Duke explains how it will affect health care workers and patients in green country. It's a disaster right now. It's become a dire situation. Somebody's got to give. In, in this country, we, we don't live in that kind of a society. This should never be happening. Indian Health Services employees now working for the third week unpaid because of the government shutdown. Buell England with Cherokee Nation Tribal Council says cutting funds to Indian health care is putting people's lives at risk. I really do feel for them because I know so many of them. I'm, I'm so involved with our health system. Without government funding, Native hospitals have a gloomy future. They'll either be forced to furlough or lay off staff. Here at the Claremore Indian Hospital, both situations have become reality. Republicans in the House Rules Committee introduced an amendment to H.R. 268 that would fund IHS for a full fiscal year. The amendment was defeated by Democrats with an 8 to 4 vote. The effects of the committee's vote put stress on not only IHS employees, but patients. People will see medical services. If it's a life or death situation, they'll still be referred on for care, but we have no assurance that that's going to be paid or how that will be paid. This means medical bankruptcy for some. A limitation of services for patients will also result if the shutdown continues. So now you have trained individuals that may or may not have the financial ability personally to sustain not having a paycheck. Skilled physicians not being paid may find jobs elsewhere, meaning patients who rely on Indian Health Services lose their doctors. I just hope that everyone can come to the table as adults and find a way to work around this solution. Corey Duke, Two Works For You.